This is a video about the GCD of two polynomials. First, polynomials can have coefficients in any ring, uh, but we are going to focus on polynomials with coefficients in a field, and the reason for that will become clear later. So for now, let f be a field, and let f of x and g of x be polynomials with coefficients in f. We say that g of x divides f of x if there is a polynomial k of x with coefficients in f such that f of x equals k of x times g of x. And we use the same notation as we do for integers. For example, consider f of x equals 6x squared plus 13x minus 5 and g of x equals 2x plus 5, both considered as polynomials with coefficients in the rationals. Then g of x divides f of x, since f of x can be factored as uh, 3x minus 1 times g of x. So now we're ready to define the greatest common divisor of two polynomials. Recall that if a and b are integers, not both zero, the greatest common divisor of a and b is the largest integer that divides both a and b, or equivalently, the greatest common divisor of a and b is a positive integer d such that d divides a and d divides b, and if c is any common divisor of a and b, then c divides d. We could attempt a similar definition for polynomials, and we'll actually see that there's a problem with this definition and we're going to have to modify it. But we could try to define the GCD of two polynomials exactly as we do for integers. Let f be a field and let a of x and b of x be polynomials with coefficients in f. The greatest common divisor of a of x and b of x should be a non-zero polynomial d of x with coefficients in f, such that d of x divides a of x and d divides b of x. And if c of x is any common divisor of a of x and b of x, then c of x, c of x divides d of x. Problem here is that the GCD as defined like this is not unique. For example, let a of x be 6x squared plus 13x minus 5, and let b of x be 2x cubed plus 5x squared, both considered as polynomials with rational coefficients. We can see that a of x factors as 3x minus 1 times 2x plus 5, and b of x factors as x squared times 2x plus 5. So it would appear that the GCD of a of x and b of x is equal to 2x plus 5. However, a of x also factors as 6x minus 2 times x plus 5 halves, and b of x factors as 2x squared times x plus 5 halves. So x plus 5 halves is also a GCD of a of x and b of x. And so are all the following, 4x plus 10, 1 third x plus 5 sixths, 0 0.002x plus 0 0.005. So which one should be the GCD? Well, one saving grace is that all of these polynomials are rational multiples of each other. So to ensure uniqueness, what we'll do is we will add the requirement that the GCD must be monic. A polynomial m of x with coefficients in f is called monic if its leading coefficient is 1. And here we mean the multiplicative identity element in the field f. So now let's make, use, make our official definition of the GCD of two polynomials. Let f be a field, and let a of x and b of x be polynomials with coefficients in f. The greatest common divisor of a of x and b of x in the polynomial ring with coefficients in f is the non-zero monic polynomial d of x with coefficients in f, such that d of x divides a of x and d, divides, d of x divides b of x. And if c of x is any common divisor of a of x and b of x, then c of x divides d of x. 
Doing this will ensure that the GCD of two polynomials is, mono, it, it is unique. So note that the GCD of two polynomials is always the monic polynomial of greatest degree that divides both polynomials. That is, if c of x is a common divisor of a of x and b of x, then the degree of c of x will always be less than or equal to the degree of the GCD of the two polynomials. One word of caution, the GCD depends on the field from which the coefficients are considered. For example, let's try to find the GCD of f of x equals x cubed minus 8 and g of x equals 3x squared minus 6x, considered as polynomials with coefficients in the rationals, and then considered as polynomials with coefficients in z2. Over the rationals, we can factor f of x as x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4, and notice that x squared plus 2x plus 4 cannot be factored any further over the rationals, and g of x equals 3x times x minus 2. So GCD of f of x and g of x is equal to x minus 2, since this is the monic polynomial of greatest degree that divides both f of x and g of x. However, if we think of the coefficients as being in z2, then f of x is actually x cubed minus 0, since 8 is congruent to 0 mod 2, which just simplifies to x cubed. And similarly, g of x is really x squared. So we're talking about the GCD of x cubed and x squared, which is just x squared. So you can see that the two GCDs are very different looking. So when we say the GCD of a of x and b of x, we have to say over the field f that the coefficients are considered from. I hope you found this video helpful.